Welcome to Four Moms Sleep Versity. I'm your host, Carolyn Harvey, certified pediatric sleep expert and founder of Dream Baby Sleep. Today, we're sitting down with Brian and Chris, who welcomed newborn twins, Brecken and London, on March 9th. They're going to be sharing their surrogacy journey, welcoming newborn twins, being working dads, and how they are approaching sleep. Welcome, Brian and Chris. Hi, Carolyn. Thanks so much for having us. Hi. Now tell me who each of you are holding. I'm holding little Brecken over here. And I've got London. Amazing. Congratulations. First, can you guys talk us through how you became parents to your twins? Sure. It all started, um, you know, we've been together over 10 years, so it started quite a long time ago, the discussion of <coughs> wanting to be parents and definitely wanting to make that leap. So when we got serious about it, we explored all the different avenues, foster care, adopt, um, surrogacy, and just ultimately decided surrogacy was what was right for us and how to build our family. And all in all, the journey from beginning to end was a long 21 months for us. But in the end, um, we each are biological dads to each of the babies. So I'm biologically related to Brecken and Chris is biologically related to London. Oh, that's so special. Congratulations. It's such an amazing story about your journey to become parents. How are the twins sleeping? Right now, they're actually sleeping pretty good. Um, we've gotten them, for the most part, sleeping through the night, you know, that golden, you know, six to eight hour mark. You know, they nap regularly through the day as they should. Yeah. And, um, you know, they don't always like to be put down for sleep right away, but... They eventually they do give it. in and then they, they're, they're sleepy babies for, for a few hours, which is nice. <laughs> and I, I really love how simple you guys are doing it. So uh, that's one of my primary tips. Keep it simple. Turn down the lights, set the stage for sleep, start your white noise, which is a healthy sleep cue. Quietly change the diaper, right? Less interaction at bedtime, the better. Gently rock them for a little bit. Do your best to try and place them down, drowsy but awake, but if not, that's okay. They're still little. Um, and really a simple, consistent routine is ultimately what helped you guys really establish a, a, a very healthy sleep routine. It is useful having the uh, four moms bassinet, especially if one of us is flying solo, since we both do work full time, yes. um, to help with that rocking and soothing them if there's we don't have both of us to, to each take a baby. It really is like a second set of hands. Any sleep myths you found totally false or unrealistic? I mean, our number one sleep myth that we don't follow is never wake a sleeping baby. Um, <laughs> it's something that we do not follow before, even before we had kids. I was reading through books and websites and the blogs and a lot of them were saying, never wake a sleeping baby. And for us, it's like, well, that doesn't work best for us, especially with their feeding schedule and keeping them on the routine that they're comfortable with. So that's like our, our number one um, myth that we don't follow. Especially with twins, they have to be on the same schedule. So yes. if one's feeding, the other one needs to feed too, or more or less on the same. Otherwise, we would never sleep again. Yeah, well, guess what? I mean, bravo to you guys. Your instincts are spot on. Pro tip, I always tell all of our new parents to cap any one nap, meaning wake a sleeping baby, cap any one nap at a maximum of two hours. Scientifically, this is ultimately what is going to help end day and night confusion. It allows for enough time during the day to get in all your feeds, as well as offer age appropriate tummy time. So. Excellent job, guys. And they do love their activity time, for oh, sure. Oh, <laughs> yes. Can't, can't take that away from them, for sure. <laughs> well, I will tell you that it seems like you both have it totally figured out. You are crushing sleep. I'm so excited for you. What do you say to those new parents that just feel like they're at, at, at a loss? We definitely don't have it all together. It may look like we do, but we, <laughs> we definitely don't. Um, I think for me, like for any new parent, is that every baby is different um, and to take things one day at a time and really listen to your baby's needs, listen to your partner if you have one, um, and really do what's best for you and your family. Yeah, that's fantastic. 
Now I will tell you, I you have such a unique and special story to parenthood. Is there anything additional you want to share with everyone about your story? With our story, um, like we mentioned, we chose surrogacy as, the, as, as our option, but there were a lot of hurdles along the way. We had two egg donors, three surrogate matches, um, we had legal delays, we had clinic delays, we had COVID delays, um, <laughs> but we knew this is what we wanted. So we persevered and, and the end result was worth it. So if anyone going through any sort of, you know, family planning, infertility treatment, surrogacy, any, any family journey um, or journey to parenthood, there will be bumps along the way, but it will be worth it. Absolutely. Yeah, it's so fantastic. I just get teary-eyed just even looking at the both of you in lockstep. Thank you so much, Brian and Chris, for sharing your amazing story. You are doing such a great job. I wanna remind everybody that they can continue to follow Brian and Chris's journey on TikTok at It's Brian and Chris. And don't forget to follow at 4moms underscore HQ on Instagram for more Sleepversity updates and episode announcements. Sleep well.